Hey everybody! So I'm here in the shop late on Friday night, um, the last Friday of Rotation 3 for the arts, and I'm just doing a little bit of work that I wanted to share with you. Um, so I am starting a big project, a commission um, for Lily O'Connell's dad, who is a contractor and is working on a house in Dedham. Um, so he asked me to build the top of an island in a kitchen. Um, and I thought that this part would be really cool for you to see because it is the very beginning of projects that we don't really get to see at school. Um, and I want you to understand how lucky we are to have the super nice lumber that we use at school. Um, so yeah, we start with lumber that is called rough. So it literally just like looks rough. Um, it has been cut at a mill. And then what I'm gonna be doing tonight is called planing it. So I'm gonna be um, taking the surface and making it smooth. It's also called surfacing. So like if I wanted to save a little bit of time and pay a little bit of extra money, maybe charge my client a little bit extra, I would say, hey, can ask the mill, right, that I bought it from, say, hey, can you surface the lumber on two sides? Right, so let's show you a little bit more. So I have these awesome mahogany boards and oh, one is right here. So can you see how, sorry, my phone is rotating on my tripod. Can you see how it is bumpy, right? It may even have some little splinters on the edges, right? It's pretty rough. It's even got, um, sometimes it'll have writing on it from the mill, right? Like you can see on the sides of these, those have my order number and my name, right? And then these are boards that I plane down, right? So see how the surface is much more smooth and silky, might even kind of shine a little bit in the light if I did a good job. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like and what the machine looks like that does it. So here's our planer that we use in the shop, right? And let me show you me standing next to it so I can get a sense of the size. Here it is. And the wood feeds through here. Um, and I have a, a few settings like on any machine, right? So I have my on switch. I have my type one cut and my type two cut. You can see type one is a finishing cut. And it says the blades make 179 cuts per inch, okay? And there are three blades inside of there um, that spin. I was just looking to see if I had an example of what a blade looks like. There are some replacement blades that are long and skinny, kind of like a razor clam, if anybody uh, goes to the beach and loves finding those. They're long and skinny and sharp on the edges. So they rotate around on a spinning barrel. Um, so 179 cuts per inch on a finishing type of cut and 96 cuts per inch on a dimensioning type of cut. So I always start with number two and then toward the end I go back to number one. Um, it's a pretty simple machine, honestly. This dial here shows um, different parts of an inch, right? And I have it set to an eighth of an inch. And that basically just makes sure that because when we're planing, we do a lot, you'll see soon, a lot of repeated um, passes through the machine. It's really easy to lose track. And sometimes you can over plane something like plane it down so it's too skinny, right? So in planing, we're changing the thickness because we're taking some material off, right? And we're taking, I take material off of both sides always right so um i just have this set to an eighth of an inch and these big threaded bolts are kind of connected to this um depth setting and when i get to an eighth of an inch it just won't allow me to lower anymore right so it won't allow me to make any more cuts after that so that's kind of like a backup in case i am making any mistakes um so here's our lowering wheel on this side, right? So if I turn this, right, you can see it changes 
how thick our wood is on our ruler and our ruler shows like at the top of this little red thing at that line, right? You can see I have it set to one and a half inches right now because it's half an inch below two. So I bought my wood from the lumber yard and it is six quarters, which is in carpentry how we say one and a half, right? So eight quarters would be two, seven quarters would be one and three quarters, right? Six quarters, one and a half, five quarters, one and a quarter, right? So I have my blades set at one and a half inches to start. And then when I pass my lumber through, it'll just take a little bit off the top and I slowly, slowly move down, move down, move down until I am where I wanna be. And where I'm trying to go for this project is to, you can actually see how the whole head, the whole top of the machine is moving up and down, right? When I turn the knob. So I'm trying to go an eighth of an inch down, right? To one and three eighths. That's my final desired thickness. And that will probably take me about a half an hour, right? So pretty long time, lots of passes through the machine. And it's nice and loud and I wanna protect my eyes. So I'm gonna go get my ear protection, my eye protection, and I'm gonna turn the machine on.